Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. Today's episode is the miracle of the Quran, the prophecy of Surah Al Kawthar. In the previous episode, we had introduced the concept of prophecies as being another miraculous facet of every divine scripture. Now, this miraculous facet has allowed believers to judge between true revelation and false revelation, and for many individuals, functions as the strongest form of evidence for demonstrating the existence of God the Almighty. Now, it's worth noting that the Quran includes several prophecies which have come to pass and therefore function as confirming evidence of the Quran's miraculous nature. Yet, in this episode, we wish to analyze a very simple example of a miraculous prophecy. Surah Al Kawthar, namely the 108th Surah of the Quran, is the shortest Surah of the Quran. It goes as follows Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, Inna a'atainaka al Kawthar, Fasalli li rabbika wanhar, Inna shani'aka huwa al Abtar. Namely, in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, to thee have we granted you an abundance. Therefore, to thy Lord turn in prayer and sacrifice, for he who insulted you. He will be cut off from hope nature. Now the historical context of this surah will make the entire difference in explaining how this surah is miraculous. We find that some exegetes say it was revealed in Medina and according to some it was revealed in Mecca. But from the nature of this surah and given its background there appears no doubt that this surah was revealed in Mecca. One day As ibn Wal, a leader of the polytheists of Mecca, saw Prophet Muhammad coming out of Masjid al-Haram, so he stopped and conversed to him for some time. Meanwhile, the other elders of the polytheists observed their chatting from a distance. When the talk was over and As joined his people, they asked the following, O oh, As, whom were you chatting to? As pointed towards the Prophet of Islam and said, With that person who is Abtur. Now, Abtur in Arabic is a person who is tailless. In other words, it's a reference to one without posterity. The Holy Prophet, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him and upon his pure family, has two sons from Khadija, Allah's blessings and peace be upon her, namely Qasim and Tahir, also known as Abdullah. Since both of them died, the Holy Prophet of Islam remained without sons, so the Arabs began calling him Abtar, meaning tailless. Surah Al Kothar was revealed as a consolation to the Holy Prophet of Islam. In the culture of the pre-Islamic Arabs, a man without male offspring was viewed as a person cut off from having lineage as he would have no sons to carry his name. Yet this surah came to confirm that the Prophet Allah's blessings and peace be upon him through his daughter Fatima السلام, would be granted an abundance of offspring. This is miraculously fulfilled today as we see that there is no man in the history of mankind whom people can trace their lineage to with the same precision as they can trace their lineage to the Prophet of Islam. Throughout the Muslim world, in Asia, Africa, the Middle East and every corner of the globe, there are people who having precise family trees can trace their ancestry all the way to the Holy Prophet, such as people called Sayyids or Sharifs. Today the Prophet's descendants number tens of millions and yet we find that As bin Wa'il has no one who claims to be descended from him in the world. This is for today's episode. Until we meet with the new episodes, thank you very much indeed for joining us and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.